my ladies and gentlemen allow me to introduce to you our first speaker of the day mr shivam puri ceo sipla health who will address the topic well shivam uh, puri brings the edge and discipline of 17 years of sales and marketing experience in the diverse indian fmcg sector to the world of healthcare an alumnus of iit bhu and iim lucknow he has had successful stints across leading companies like jubilant foodworks limited hul and itc limited under his able leadership as the chief executive officer sipla health limited looks to rapidly scale up and transform healthcare in india by pushing the boundaries to consistently innovate and offer world class wellness products to make a difference to the lives of consumers every day while in his spare time shivam runs marathons and plays the drums and as a doting dad he's loves spending time with his two boys thank you so much mr puri for joining us today live uh, at our wonderful event it's an honor to have you over to you sir thank you bhavna <clears throat> thank you for that uh, wonderful introduction can someone uh, put up the presentation please Sure, Mr. Puri. We'll get that done. Could we have Mr. Puri's presentation? Yes, sir. Yeah. Good. Thank you. So, Bhavna, as you know, as I was beginning to talk, uh, as I was logging in, I realized that we had a similar event almost a year back, uh, and it's so surreal on how things have changed in a short span of twelve to fifteen months, uh, because the topics that we have picked up at that point in time were very different than what we are talking about here. Uh, but yeah, for because of paucity of time, let me straight away jump into the topic. uh marketing and brand empathy in the time of pandemic next slide please yeah so uh so uh, you know uh, what i have done is uh, and i have some 15 20 minutes to talk about this so what i have done is i have put together a few common themes around the consumers that we see today uh, one big disclaimer uh, these are basis the experience of last 12 to 15 months and as we have seen these experiences change uh and can actually undergo quite a significant shift uh even in period of a few quarters forget years um you know and and the shift we have all seen wave one began with shock and awe that was a time when we actually had our last uh marketing uh you know a similar uh, program by e4m around healthcare um uh, there was a shock and awe around what was happening around us as wave one descended on us uh, and as the cases started coming down there was almost a euphoria Uh, almost a feeling of saying probably india has beaten covid and probably we are different uh, which is when wave 2 quietly crept in uh, and then there was massive misery and despair all of us have experienced it personally to our near and dear ones and to our extended families as well uh, and and today as we sit on wave 2 receding there are talks of a possible wave 3 wave 4 and possibly a wave n uh, no one actually knows maybe there is no more wave uh, coming our way so the point that i'm trying to make here is that uh you know post today uh you know a lot in terms of how consumers uh behave uh and and think through the brand communication will change basis the external environment uh, but as things stand today there is a lot of fatigue and despair uh, all of us personally feel that um there is a trust deficit right many of many consumers i have spoken to actually are not sure if uh, you know if uh, if they actually should go and get vaccinated uh, something so basic and so critical Uh, to to you know take care of uh, the covid challenge uh, but uh, what that uh, you know translates into a larger trust deficit uh, that the consumers are seeing today there is of course postponement and down trading as any down wave uh, you know any challenging wave uh, has shown in the past but interestingly there is also uh, you know some there are some elements of revenge buying which we saw during the unlock of wave 1 uh, and uh, actually you continue to see revenge buying among the uh, you know upper middle class and uh, high net worth individuals even today uh, there is indulgence yes there is indulgence uh, much little uh, you know a very different aspect of indulgence than what we used to see pre pandemic uh, when there was a lot of flaunting around indulgence today the 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 indulgence that we see is more about emotional gratification it's more about you know life is short Uh, it's more about saying you know i don't know what uh, what to expect tomorrow so let me live uh, the day to the fullest so these are some of the emotions that the consumers are seeing uh, you know have seen in the last 12 to 15 months uh, and this is what we can expect to see if the same scenario continues in future as well next slide please next what i have done is you know i have translated this into the communication themes that many brands have adopted 
uh, and to make it a little interesting what i would also do is i'll play a few commercials where i feel that you know many of these themes actually have been leveraged to the fullest by the brands um, healing empathy is of course a big big theme uh, all of us can relate to it you know when you're broken and when you're down nothing works as well as you know a healing tonality uh, and empathetic uh, outlook of a brand uh second there is a big feeling of loss of control so a brand trying to help you regain control uh, over your life again is a big theme uh, that's uh, working really well today the feeling of gratitude right the feeling of little mercies of life and the feeling of the fact that you know i i and of course we we had experienced these feelings of gratitude even before pandemic and lots of marketers had started to talk about it but i think the importance of this has grown exponentially and we'll see a few examples of this uh, in the coming slides nimble and adaptive again is a big big uh, you know characteristic of a successful brand in times like these uh, things are changing very very fast very quickly so a brand which is actually very very adaptive to how their consumers are feeling around them because the moment you are out of uh, tune with what your consumers are feeling not only do you risk alienating lots of consumers but you actually risk alienating your core franchise as well so a brand needs to be super nimble and super adaptive and we'll see Uh, some examples of that uh, in the coming slides and last but not the least making a real difference uh, you know uh, this again was uh, always true even pre pandemic but again the importance has gone up many fold in times like these consumers see through who is making a real difference and who is just faking it and hence it's very important for brands uh, to be very sure and only when they feel that they have really made a difference to their consumers should they go out and talk about it yeah so these are some of the um uh, you know themes quick themes that i could pull out um uh, you know that i wanted to share uh, uh, with all of you next slide please so what i'll do now is i'll i'll talk about a few examples of where we have seen these uh, come alive you know a great example is ebay uh, which launched this accelerator program for small businesses the moment uh, pandemic struck uh, and of course small businesses you know uh, were struggling to uh, connect with their consumers and customers and here came ebay a free offer for all the small businesses for 3 months a free sign in lots of help lots of help around free marketing and support uh, a fantastic example of helping consumers regain control and consumers here for example for them would be their customers the ecom customer base uh, they help them regain control of their businesses of their life and made a real difference uh, and look at the fantastic adaptability of the business this they actually went live with this program very early into the game uh which is when lots of other corporates were thinking about you know what to do in a time like this next slide please so from ebay this is the other example uh you know if if an employer were a brand and an if employee uh, you know were a customer three great examples uh, or three very different examples that i could pull out the one of twitter in news very recently for announcing permanent work from home the one of apple trying to get some of their employees back in office and some bit of backlash beginning to uh you know they've beginning to they've begun to face and the example of tata steel or rather the whole tata group absolutely fantastic uh you know uh, dictum the communication that they put out to all their uh, employees and even externally where they actually said that you know if an employee loses his life uh during this pandemic uh, they will actually uh, build salary on on uh, provide salary to their near and dear ones uh, till the employee would have attained the age of 60 and some real differentiated benefits um you know in terms of housing and medical uh, for the families now you know look at look at this so many employees do many policies and they become of course very popular externally but in a time of pandemic these minor things get heightened uh, and an employee and even a regular you know employee looking at these corporates forms a perfect image of what these corporates stand for in a time like this so this is again a great example of empathy and making a real difference uh, people see through the real difference being made to their lives and the lens to which these corporates have gone to take their uh, to take care of their employees next slide please so that was on employee branding uh, next i've just put out an example of horizon and there are many other corporates who have done similar stuff you know they have just opened their hearts and their uh, you know their resources to their customers core customers and this is an example of free resources for kids of all ages free digital access no questions asked Uh, and you know we have a long list of uh, companies which have done this in india as well i can assure you that a uh, customer of these corporates who has used and leveraged these resources will always have a special place in their heart 
for these corporates. No amount of branding, no amount of communication can cover up for uh, the real difference that they make through these actions. Uh, you know, an absolutely fantastic thing to do in a time like this. Yeah, next slide, please. Uh, you know, uh, okay, so this is an example of uh, World Hand Washing Day. Uh, you know, I've spent uh, bulk of my life in Unilever. Uh, and I remember, you know, how critical it used to be for us to figure out a way to make a uh, change in terms of hand washing habit for consumers. And the discussion used to be around cutting edge creatives, some clutter breaking communication, something quirky, something cool, just to try and convince the consumer to change their habit. The tonality uh, has completely changed and the brand is different. This is Savlon this time. The tonality around global hand washing day completely changed. Many of us would have seen this video which went viral. Uh, I'll request you to play this video for all of us, but you know, a brilliant example of empathy uh, to actually make a change, a habit change, unlike pre-pandemic times. Hi, I'm Swapna. बचपन से मुझे पेंटिंग करना बहुत अच्छा लगता था मेरी पेंटिंग्स को देखकर लोग मेरी हमेशा तारीफ करते हैं बोलते हैं मेरा टैलेंट और मैं बहुत स्पेशल हैं। शायद आप में से कई लोगों से मैं बेटर पेंटर हूँ पर उसके अलावा मैं बिल्कुल आप जैसी हूँ मेरी सुबह भी शुरू होती है अलार्म क्लॉक के चिल्लाने से आप जैसे ही मैं भी उठ के वापिस थोड़ी देर सो जाती हूँ चाय के बिना मेरा दिन भी शुरू नहीं होता दोस्तों से बातें करती हूँ मुझे भी तैयार होने में थोड़ा वक्त लगता है ऑनलाइन रहने की आदत आजकल मुझे भी लग गई है और उन्नी अपम को आपके जैसे मैं भी कभी ना नहीं कह सकती हाँ पर एक बात है जो शायद आप में से बहुत लोग नहीं करते पर मैं हमेशा करती हूँ मैं हैंड वॉश इस्तेमाल करना नहीं भूलती 20 सेकेंड हैंड वॉश करने से यू स्टे प्रोटेक्टेड फ्रॉम जर्म्स एंड डिजीजेस कोरोना वायरस जैसे वायरस से भी और मेरे लिए हैंड वॉश इस्तेमाल करना इतना इजी है तो फिर आप क्यों नहीं करते हैंड वॉश फैंटेस्टिकोशन थैंक यू uh you know the next one is life boy uh, again you know i picked this campaign up for uh, not only the real difference that these campaigns the string of campaigns have made but uh, also because of sheer adaptability of the campaigns you know lock one uh, unlock one lock two unlock two they actually were running different creatives and commercials completely staying in sync with the mood of the nation uh, and because of which the the you know the acceptance of the communication was amazing second thing to note the brand has gone to the background it's more about public health messaging uh, and communication and which makes the brand so endearing uh, to consumers can you play this commercial please har indian se ek vinti hai corona virus ab tak gaya nahi par achhi aadatein chali gayi un aadaton ko wapas laaye mask pehniye naak par bhi vaccine lijiye do gaj ki duri rakhiye और लाइफ बॉय या किसी भी साबुन से हाथ धोएं या अल्कोहल बेस्ड हैंड सैनिटाइजर का इस्तेमाल करें कोरोना वायरस से इंडिया की सुरक्षा अब आपके हाथ में है या एंड एंड यू नो फॉर दोस ऑफ यू आर इंटरेस्टेड यू शुड पुल आउट द अर्लियर थ्री फॉर कमर्शियल दैट लाइफ बॉय केम अप विद एंड दिस इज अनलॉक वेव टू कमर्शियल इट डजेंट लुक लाइक अ कमर्शियल इट्स अ परफेक्ट पब्लिक हेल्थ मैसेज Uh, and any consumer watching it understands that this brand is trying to make a real difference to my life yes they are trying to sell their products towards the end uh, but they are trying to make a real difference to me yeah so i picked this up uh, uh, as a part of that next next one please yeah so next uh, you know i have uh, two commercials of kia and uh, burger king uh, very interesting because you know there are brands uh, and this is an example of a brand which has a funky cool quirky tonality of course all of us know kia used to talk about being the badass in town uh, now for a brand which has such a funky communication that they have been uh, working on they suddenly can't become an endearing brand which has lot of empathy right because consumers will see through it and they will of course find it inauthentic so this is a brilliant example of a naughty brand like kia and what they have done 
to stay in sync with the mood of their consumers externally can you play the uh, video please hey i'm so sick mr brown a prince who's just been crowned i can brighten up your day cuz i'm so sudden hey i'm so sick mr brown heading out to town you can hate me all the way Yeah, so this is called being nimble and being adaptive kia could have said oh what can i do my communication would not work in a scenario like this so let me just stay quiet they said let me continue to keep my brand salient but do it in a manner uh, which adheres to the mood of my consumers yeah uh, the next one is uh, an- another brilliant one from burger king uh, again a funky cool quirky brand uh, known for its out of box commercial i'm sure many of us would have seen the commercials and we understand the tonality this is you know an amazing take on what they did to their tonality to again bring it in sync uh, to the mood of their consumers can we play this one please your country needs you to stay on your couch and order in do your part and we'll do ours order through the burger king app and the delivery fees are on us so staying home doesn't just make us all safer it makes you a couch patriot and to help healthcare heroes we are donating whopper sandwiches to nurses and we are also proudly supporting the american nurses foundation stay home of the whopper you know so this commercial not only talks to their core consumer base it talks to a much wider uh, base around uh, and the respect for the brand goes up multiple notches as they continue to talk about their brand uh, so a brilliant uh, communication next one please uh okay yeah so next one is again you know a very interesting example you would seldom see a brand uh, asking consumers to not use them and request them to not use their brand uh, and become endearing to their consumers in the process and the example here is of uber uh, of course you know the you know as the lockdown happened across the world uh, the brand just completely went out of business uh, and you know they could have fretted and uh, thought about what to do in this context they said let's let's put out a public message leveraging our brand requesting consumers to stay at home and not use an uber just imagine when time becomes you know when we come back to normal times uh, uh, which hopefully we should uh, we already are moving in that direction uh, a brand like this uh, continues to stay salient uh, throughout uh, a time when their services are not being used by any consumer so can we play the commercial please this is uber you know a great example of empathy uh, of making a real difference to consumers of being in sync with the times um, so you know that's it from my side the idea of sharing these um, live examples with all of you was to hopefully trigger some thoughts uh, and i know not all these examples were from healthcare uh, brands uh, you know i i took the liberty of going outside of healthcare uh, but these have uh, equal relevance uh, even when we talk about communicating healthcare so i hope these have triggered these examples have triggered a few thoughts uh, in your minds in terms of how you could communicate in the times of pandemic uh, you know i wish all of you uh, a very healthy uh, life uh, and i hope all of you stay safe and your near and dear ones stay safe thank you that's it from my side thank you bhavna thank you thank you so much uh, mr puri for joining us and uh, kick starting our wonderful uh, event today we really absolutely value all your insights you've shared today thank you mr puri thank you
Thank you.